factor 5x squared minus 18x plus 9. In this video, I'm going to show you two ways to factor this trinomial. The first way will be by hand, and the second way will be using a shortcut with your TI Inspire calculator. So if you want to see a very quick shortcut with just a few buttons in the calculator, stay tuned. All right, so step one, we need to identify our A, B, C. A is the number with the variable squared or the letter squared, so that is 5. B is the number with the variable no exponent, that is negative 18, don't forget that negative. C is the number without a variable or letter or exponent, so that is 9. All right, after we identified our ABCs, we can now begin. So step 1 here, we're going to do A times C. A is 5 times C is 9. What is 5 times 9? It's 45. Okay, step 2. We are going to find the factors of 45. So what two numbers can I multiply to get 45? Let's start with 1. 1 times what number is 45? 45. After 1 is 2. Now, 2, you cannot multiply a number to get 45, but you can check. So let me show you how you can check. 45 divided by the number you want to check is 2. Okay, it's a fraction. I don't want a fraction. I want a complete number. So 2 does not work. Okay, after 2, we're going to go ahead and do 3. 3 times what number is 45? Remember, you can check by doing 45 divided by 3. That is 15. Okay, 4 does not work. 5 does work. 5 times 9 is 45. All right, so now I want to look at the B. What number is the B? Negative 18. All right, so which two numbers can I add or subtract using positive or negative numbers to get negative 18? So 1 and 45, there's no way I can get 18. 3 and 15, I can, right? If I do negative 3 minus 15, negative 3 minus 15, that gives me negative 18. Okay, so the two numbers that I want to use are negative 3 and negative 15 because negative 3 minus 15 together make negative 18, which is my B. Okay, so step 3. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to copy all of this, but we are not going to put negative 18. In the space of negative 18, I'm going to put negative 3 minus 15. And I can do that because negative 3 minus 15 is equivalent to negative 18. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. So 5x squared, no negative 18. I'm going to put negative 3 with the x minus 15, again with the x, because negative 3x minus 15x is negative 18x, and then copy the plus 9. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to put the first two numbers together and the second two numbers together, and we are going to factor the numbers and find the GCF. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and do these two first. So put 5 here and 3 here. Now, what two numbers can I multiply to get 5? I can only do 1 and 5, right? So 5 is a prime number. So I'm going to go ahead and circle that, and I'm going to go ahead and write my list for 5x squared. So my list for 5x squared is 5 times x times x. So x squared means I have two x's. Okay, and remember here, just ignore the sign. Okay, 3, what two numbers can I multiply to get 3? Only 1 times 3, right? So 3 is a prime number. I'm going to go ahead and circle it. So I'm going to give my list for 3x. 3x is 3 times x. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and do the GCF. What is GCF? That is the greatest common factor. What do they have in common? What do they have in common? They have 1x in common, and that's it. Okay, so my GCF is x. So what you're going to do is open your parentheses. You're going to put the same, what they have the same, or the GCF outside, which is x. And then you're going to put what is different inside. So what is different here? Well, anything different does not have a circle. So what is different? It's 5 and x. So 5x. Copy the sign. It's negative. Okay, what is different here? 
three. There we go. Let's go ahead and do the next ones. We're going to go ahead and do 15, ignore the sign, and 9. Okay, 15, what two numbers can I multiply to get 15? I can multiply 3 times 5, and 3 is prime, and 5 is prime. So I'm going to go ahead and write my list for 15x. It's 3 times 5 times x. Time for the 9. What two numbers can I multiply to get 9? I can multiply 3 times 3, and 3 is prime. So my list for 9 is 3 times 3. Let's do our GCF now. Okay, what do they have in common? They have 1, 3, and that's it. So I'm going to go ahead and write 3. Okay, so we're going to open our parentheses. Okay, let's put the GCF outside. All right, and let's put what is different on the inside. Okay, so here it's negative. Go ahead and put that sign. What is different for that 15x? It's 5x. Copy the sign. It's plus. What is different for that 9? It's 3. All right, and this is positive 3. Now take a look here. These are almost the same. I need them to be the same. The problem is... Here it's positive, here it's negative, here it's negative, here it's positive. So the numbers are the same, but the signs are complete opposites. So what do I do? So let me go ahead and show you. I'm going to keep this one the same. Let's go ahead and copy it. What I'm going to do is whenever I have a negative in the front here, I'm going to go ahead and take that out. So I'm going to take a negative out from here and I'm going to put it outside. So basically, I'm going to change all of the signs to opposite. I can do that if I change everything here to opposite sign. So what's the opposite of plus? Negative 3. Open parenthesis. Opposite of minus? Plus positive 5x. The opposite of plus or positive? negative or minus three. There you go. You've got to change it completely opposite. So basically, I just multiplied by negative one to change that. Okay, now take a look. Now it's the same. That's exactly what I wanted. So what I'm going to do for my final answer is I'm going to open two parentheses. You're going to put what is the same in the front right here, 5x minus three, and you're going to put what is different in the back over here, which is x minus Three. And let me just remind you, I don't know which order they will put it in, so maybe they could put x minus 3 in the front and 5x minus 3 after. So both of these are your answer. It just depends on what they give you on the ABCD multiple choice. Now I'm going to show you that shortcut that I promised you. So let's go ahead and enter into our calculator. So go ahead and push 1, no and one for the calculator. Okay, the buttons are menu, three, three, one, enter. Menu, three, three, one, enter. You're gonna put your ABCs. A is five, go down. B is negative 18, don't forget that negative, go down. C is nine. Then you're going to push enter three times. Enter, 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 three times enter. Let's go ahead and write down that solution. Okay, so I'm going to write that solution down. So brackets, or braces, three-fifths, comma, three. There we go. So how you do this is you're going to open two parentheses. You're going to put the letter in the front. So my letter was X. So let me go ahead and put X. This number will go in this parentheses, and this number will go in my second pair. All right, so what you're going to do, I need to put them as opposite. So if this is positive, I need to put it as negative. So the numerator, you're going to make it opposite and put it after the letter. So this is positive 3, I will make it negative 3. The denominator or the number that is down, you put it in front of the letter. So again, that numerator, the number up, you make it opposite and put it after the letter. And the denominator, the number that is down, you put it in the front. This is positive 3, just change it to opposite, which will be negative 3, and stick it after the letter or the variable, and there you go. So take a look. This is the same as what I had when I did it by hand. 
Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a like, leave a comment, and subscribe. In the comments, let me know which method did you prefer. Did you like doing it by hand, or did you prefer that shortcut? Also, please don't forget to like this video uh, so that it can show up on more timelines. Thank you so much, and see you next time.